Ford unveiled the seventh chapter of its multi-level Mustang sports car with reworked but familiar styling, revised chassis hardware, a new interior, and two upgraded powertrains. While the new Pony is saddled for the future with a bevy of upgrades, the long-term fate of its closest competitors, the Chevy Camaro and Dodge Challenger, isn't so rosy. This new generation of cars will continue to be powered by a 5.0-liter V8 engine, this time with output boosted to 480 horsepower. The 315 horsepower turbocharged 2.3-liter EcoBoost is also an improvement, but only slightly. A 6-speed manual and a 10-speed automatic will be available depending on engine choice. The Mustang will continue to be offered in hardtop coupe and softtop convertible body styles. The cockpit of the redesigned Mustang includes an available 13.2-inch display which is part of a large curved screen that extends over the center stack area. The system also replaces the traditional knobs for climate control and radio with touchscreen buttons. Sales of the new Pony car will start sometime in the summer of 2023. The Mustang will be entering its seventh generation with sales starting in the summer of 2023. This new design brings the Mustang a much-needed update. Amidst the many styling and powertrain changes is a roster of new offerings for those who really need speed. Both the Mustang GT and EcoBoost models will offer an optional performance pack equipment upgrade. The performance pack adds front strut tower struts, Torsen limited slip differential, wider wheels and tires, bigger Brembo brakes and Magnaride active damper suspension. Optional Recaro buckets and active exhaust are also available for those who put performance first. Additionally, Ford offers a performance electronic parking brake that looks like a traditional lever action handbrake and is said to make the Mustang easier to drift. Mustang continues to offer the turbocharged four-cylinder EcoBoost in the base level and the V8 in the GT model. The Mustang with a V8 engine just feels right, bringing more performance and a growl that pleases the ear. It's the only powertrain to offer a six-speed manual transmission. The new Mustang comes standard with an upgraded 315 HP 2.3-liter turbocharged four-cylinder EcoBoost engine that's boosted with 350 pound-feet of torque. That's 5 horsepower more than the previous Mustang, but still trails the 330 HP of the last-gen EcoBoost performance. While every EcoBoost Mustang gets a 10-speed automatic transmission, the Mustang GT, which still offers a 5.0-liter V8, comes standard with a 6-speed manual. The last-generation Coyote V8 made 450 horsepower with 420 pound-feet of torque but the new unit is rated at 480 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque. Ford says the optional performance exhaust boosts output to 486 horsepower and 481 pound-feet. The all-new Mustang Dark Horse model is a track-focused upgrade based on the GT that sports a 500 HP 5.0-liter V8 with a 10-speed automatic or 6-speed manual transmission. Ford says the heart of the engine contains the connecting rod from the 760 HP Mustang Shelby GT500 plus a revised intake system. The test team hasn't fitted their instruments into the new Pony yet, but will update this space as soon as they become available. From the driver's seat of the 2024 Mustang, every detail has been sculpted in what Ford calls a fighter jet-inspired design. To see if the Mustang's performance will break the sound barrier, the standard 12.4-inch instrument cluster is a huge leap forward over the previous car. The configurable display can be customized to suit the needs of most red, white, and blue Patriots, with selectable colors, gauges, and even a quiet screen that displays only the most necessary details. Ambient lighting and the driver's display adapt to whichever driving mode you choose. The base Mustang features fabric seats and available micro-suede vinyl inserts, while the premium level adds stitched trim from the door trim to the dashboard. Mustang GT gets leather inserts. The main area of improvement for the new Mustang is the interior equipment. The 13.2-inch infotainment screen available using Ford Sync 4 software flows from the gauge cluster towards the center of the car behind a curved glass panel. 
Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come standard on this system, and an optional wireless smartphone charger helps drivers reduce charging cable clutter. Amazon Alexa and Ford Streaming allow voice commands to replace dials or button presses, and each Mustang is equipped with Ford PowerUp software capabilities that allow over-the-air updates for future software and vehicle function upgrades.